another sewing for a living tutorial in which I'm going to show you how I make a toddler's car seat cover. You can follow these instructions to make a cover for a baby car seat, carriers and high chairs, practically anything that could use some refreshment due to holes, stains or faded color. start with a little warning that this is not a project that can be done in less than an hour. It took me a weekend to rip everything apart, cut all the parts out and then sew everything back together. But apart from being time consuming, it is easy to make with little resources. I am going to use this nice cotton fabric that I found in a local store. If you are planning to use a natural material fabric like me, don't forget to pre-wash because it would most probably shrink. Another warning here, make sure to take some before photos of the car seat so that you have the idea how to put it back together. All those bindings, pockets and shapes can be confusing, especially if you take breaks and finish it a day or a week later as I did. The first thing to do is to break all the stitches and separate all pieces of the cover, including bindings and elastic tapes. Then cut all the pieces from the new fabric. Be careful to position the, the pieces and the fabric so that the wrong side of the fabric is on the right side of the detail to form the new face side. Also, if you are using printed fabric, be careful to keep the print in the same direction on all details. When all the details are cut out, I pin them to the fabric so that the fabric is the new face of the cover. I'm going to prepare all the details like this and for now ignore the buttonholes and additional decorating stitches on some of them. I'm going around every piece and sew at approximately 3 8 of an inch or 1 cm in from the edge to prevent unraveling of the woven fabric I'm using. When I finish covering all pieces, I'm going to make the belt openings. I make them before joining everything back together because it is easier to fit one piece into the machine and not the whole assembled car seat cover. I am making button holes to shape the slits left for the belts. Usually I would make them on the face of the fabric but in this case they are already cut open, so I'm making them on the wrong side to see where I'm sewing. I use the original slit as a guide and the white zigzag stitch to go over the edges. When I finish all of them, I'm going to cut them open using the seam ripper. Then I'm going to repeat the zigzag stitching on the face side. This is going to make them more durable and also prettier. After all work on separate details is done, I'm going to stitch them back together in place. I 
again I'm leaving 3 eighths of an inch or 1 cm as a seam allowance in order to cover the previous seams. So I've joined some of the pieces and things start to take form. What I've noticed is that things look pretty on the outside but not so much on the inside. This is happening because I'm using a woven fabric and I didn't clean the edges. If this bothers you, you might consider cleaning the edges of the pieces before joining them. I believe this is not going to affect the overall quality and since nobody is going to look inside, I'm leaving it like this to save myself a couple of hours. Another thing you might want to consider is ironing the joining seams before you assemble the whole cover. Next I'm putting this double folded binding tape that covers the holes on the sides and assemble the rest of the car seat cover. This step might be missing on your car seat and there might be something else you need to do. That's why there is no universal pattern for this and the best pattern is your actual car seat cover. I'm trying it on to see if everything fits, including the belts. I'm making sure that all works fine and I'm going to finish the cover by putting the binding all around as a finishing. You might use the double folded elastic tape or the original binding tape, whatever works best in your case. I'm going to use elastic for this purpose. I'm going to double fold it around the edge of the car seat cover. I'm making it with one seam, but you might want to attach it first and then flip it over with additional seam to make it easier. This additional cushion I have here is one of the most difficult elements to deal with. I must cover it with fabric on both sides. Then I have to make a slit for the belt, the decorating seams and finish with a binding on the side. I'm going to follow the same steps as on the main car seat cover starting with attaching the new fabric in round. All the pieces of the car seat cover are ready, except for this buttonhole opening here. I'm going to try to feed it into the machine, but most probably I would have to make it by hand, because this piece is very thick. And this is the new look of my pretty car seat cover. I hope you like this tutorial, if so, Give it a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.